We are not dead. We are just revamping a little bit, and then we're gonna come back bigger, better, stronger than ever. Count on it. <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to you, and welcome back to me, and welcome back to everybody, because there have not been uh, m very many videos in quite a long time, and I just wanted to explain why that is. So. I've been streaming a lot. My streaming schedule has gone to every day at 6 p.m. Pacific. Uh, we're streaming something, which is generally strategy games or a first-person shooter of some type. But even we might mix it up to platformers, things like this. Whatever sounds good to me, that's what I'm going to be streaming. So I know, as usual, that doesn't appeal to everybody, and that's completely fine. But I do like streaming a lot more than sitting and making videos because of the, the real-time responses. You know what I mean? I can basically have a comment from somebody and reply back to it immediately rather than having to wait a day or two and I think it's a very very nice thing to get connected to form uh, the community a little stronger a little tighter there are definitely a lot of regulars now that show up to the streams and I'm super super appreciative to them if you didn't know that I was doing the streams maybe that's why you didn't show up but now you know, I wanted to make this vlog to let everybody uh, who might be just expecting a regular ass video to know that we're generally concentrating on streams right now. Um, I will be back probably to make some YouTube content. Gonna cut back on the Let's Plays, I think, and try and make a bit more evergreen content that can span the ages, you know what I mean? Rather than sitting down, Let's Playing a game that's relatively new, I want to offer some tick tips and tricks for the game, maybe some uh, unlockables, stuff like that. Top 10 lists, of course, always a, a nice thing for the channel, so that is what I'm planning to do, uh, at least for the foreseeable future. I do have a lot of vlogs and things that have uh, gotten backed up, I just finally offloaded them off my camera, it's like 200 plus videos and 50 gigabytes of just vlog type stuff, so I'm gonna try and organize that into something palatable, probably more than one video, you know, I've got uh, wedding stuff, my son stuff. If you're a Patreon supporter, I'll probably link you to the unlisted video, um, so if you guys are interested in seeing all that family type stuff, then you can check out my Patreon for those for those tiers of goodies. Um, other than that, yeah, there's, there's some eating challenges that I haven't released yet. There's a lot of footage that I just take and, and squirrel away. So we're probably going to be going back through the archives just a little bit. Um, I will also be creating some new content, obviously. Uh, I've got a few interesting drinks that I will be taste testing within the next coming weeks or so. I mean, I, I hate to put a time frame on it because I'm not very good with time frames and stuff like this, but um, I've been relatively consistent with the streaming, which is basically where my focus is at the moment. I also want to... Uh, open up a couple of new channels. I think that would be really beneficial to uh, streamline the content that is going into the Dayton Does Gaming channel. I'm going to break off and do Dayton Does Movies and Dayton Does Vlogs. So we'll see how I go with uh, running three channels. Right now I think my channel gets a little bit bogged down with too much other stuff. You know, I, I really need to focus the content and uh, play things that people want to watch. Because if you upload a video and you get 20 views, that's great, but not necessarily if you have a thousand subscribers. Somebody's going to look at your channel and be like, well, where are the other, the other people? They aren't watching at all, which I understand that, you know. Um, on top of that, my channel is still relatively small. I mean, getting to 1,000 subscribers is basically completing the YouTube tutorial, you know, and it's taken me five years to get that far, basically five years in March which is an inordinate amount of time, you know. I've definitely put my time in, but um, with with saying all that, it, it just means that I need to do better with my content, spend a little more time, make videos that I'm more proud of, because, you know, when I'm doing daily content, it's basically like, okay, record this, uh, chop, 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 don't necessarily watch the episode, you just, you just throw it out there and see how it goes. But I don't think that's the way to succeed on YouTube, especially these days with uh, watch time being rated so high in the algorithm. I think I'm going to need to spend a lot more time streamlining my videos, stuff like this, 
If I fall under 4,000 hours and lose my monetization, that is absolutely fine. I'm making maybe two to three dollars a month with monetization, which, uh, you know, that's not bringing home the bacon. And hopefully, reeling it back in will allow me to roll it back out even bigger and better than before. And I, that's my main goal at the moment. So I just wanted to let you guys know kind of what's going on. Just a boring little vlog video. And, uh,. Yeah, just so you can be aware of some of the changes. The streams that I do do stay up for maybe a day or so, maybe a little more. And you can watch those at your leisure if you would like, and then I take them into Unlisted. I'm thinking that I should probably chop up some of the streams and do some highlight stuff just to maybe attract more people into, uh, well, I'm streaming on every platform. I was going to say Twitch, uh, but I'm on YouTube Gaming, I'm on Twitch, I'm on Mixer, I'm on Stream Me. uh... Africa TV, like all kinds of crazy stuff. The biggest one, my favorite one at the moment, is Caffeine.TV. It is absolutely amazing. The community there is beyond supportive, and I've definitely gained a few followers that are loyal, are showing up to my streams every single day, and that is a great, great feeling, you know? Streaming to three, four, five, six people, um, it might seem like chump change to some, but the fact that somebody, well, six somebodies, will take time out of their day to sit down, watch what you're doing, ask questions about the game you're playing, is the greatest feeling in the world, honestly. And especially since a lot of times they don't know about the games that I play, you know? I feel like I'm bringing some of these uh, smaller gems to light, you know? Not everybody has to go out there and play Black Ops 4 and Apex Legends, you know? Some people still don't know about Civilization. The Civilization series, really? If you, if you like turn-based strategy, that is a great one. Eventually, maybe I'll open up uh, Europa Universalis, but I think there's a lot more learning to do in that one than there is in Civ. Anywho, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know what's going on. I've still got uh, role plays and stuff that are open. There are still a lot of series that are open, as a matter of fact, and I do plan to close them at some point in the future when I find the time. But for now, um, yeah, Nick is in stasis in New Vegas. Brandar is in stasis in uh, the domain of Malak Ball, and probably when Elder Scrolls 6 rolls out, is that the one? It is, I knew it, ha! <laughs> uh, anyways, when Elder Scrolls 6 rolls out, I definitely plan to jump on that. I've been squirreling away just a little bit of money from Patreon and stuff, so that I can uh, get that game right when it drops. I don't know why, some people, uh, I call it Elder Scrolls 6, and they're like, no, it's Elder Scrolls Valenwood, no, it's Elder Scrolls Hammerfell. Wherever it is, Brandar is going to find his way there. I really do hope it's Valenwood, because then it's a little bit closer to elsewhere and we can get to know a little bit more of Brandar's backstory. But as it stands, um, it's all up in the air, so that's that's still going to be a while down the road. I hope to continue Nick's roleplay quite shortly. We've got to finish up some other series. Uh, Project Zomboid has been in stasis largely because the vehicles were implemented, so my... My query now is, do I continue playing the game that I had before with all the shit that I built up, or do I start a new game, which will allow me to get in vehicles and do things like that? Because I can't have vehicles operate on my old game for some reason, which I found really, really troubling, and instead of dealing with that, I just threw my hands up and said, fuck it, we're not going to record that then. Uh, and that's probably not the thing to do, I'd really like some feedback about that, just just to know uh, what I should be doing. There's uh, lots of shit. Firewatch, what else? We've got Jurassic World Evolution. Pokemon Clover is almost finished. Far Cry 5, I'm probably going to stop playing through that. Um, I'll just kill one of the brothers and be like, alright, now we're going to stream the rest of it, because that seems like the, uh, the right thing to do to me. We've also got uh, Firewatch. Firewatch, that is a game that I've been enjoying, but I've been ultra, ultra slow. Uh, awesome Knots is in my current Let's Plays, but I've uninstalled it because it's super hard to get a match, so I don't know. We'll probably move that to completed Let's Plays relatively soon. Uh, in Progression Purgatory, we have Craft the World, which is on hold. Elder Scrolls Legends, I've started playing again recently, so maybe we'll get some stuff going with that. Planet Nomads, game com completely broke. I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere with my rover and no way to get back, so... That is uh, quite a troubling thing. I'll need to get that refigured out. Like I said, Project Zomboid, Walking Dead, and Ibn Ab, both of which require my wife, because we started those as a co-op collab, and uh, I'll be damned if I go back into them by myself. Uh, especially once the series started out one way. You know, I want to keep it that way the whole way through. 
So once my wife is done uh, with schooling and such, we can we can get back to those two games. Probably Walking Dead more than Ibnob. I don't think she really enjoyed Ibnob. And uh, honestly, it's the the freshness date on both of those games is is way out the window. So I'm I'm not too worried about that. It's just part of uploading content. But yeah, less uh, long let's plays and things like that, and less their role plays. I will continue doing that with the role play series. Um, but overall, I'd like to get more evergreen content, you know? Explore a vault in Fallout and tell the tale of what happened in that vault, you know? Uh, I've seen a lot of things like that that's been really cool. Elder Scrolls lore, that is super deep. We could go into that. Uh, I think I'd really enjoy that. Even even just Project Zomboid, Left 4 Dead, speculate how it all happened, how it all got started. Ways to survive. Um, there's, there's a lot of content more than just like sitting here and playing a game. You know what I mean? So... That is what I want to do, that is the plan. Uh, in betwixt that, uh, we have all the streaming stuff, so check me out on Caffeine, Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, whatever you do, uh, at 6pm Pacific. Generally, I'm pretty good about being on time. Sometimes I'm a little late, it depends how late I stayed up, because, yeah, I'm basically streaming early in the morning to catch your guys' evening, which uh, I hope works out well. If, if you want me to stream at a different time, let me know, we'll see if we can work around it, maybe shove the hours uh, forward or backwards just a little bit, but anyways, that is what the uh, whole point of the video was. Streaming. I'm doing it. Check me out. <laughs> anyways, friends, thank you so, so much for joining me on this little vlog, this little adventure called YouTube. I definitely do appreciate all the support that I've gotten thus far. We are not dead. We are just revamping a little bit, and then we're going to come back bigger, better, stronger than ever. Count on it. Anyways, I hope you like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the video. Feel free to go back through the archives. There is a ton of good content back there. Uh, some of it doesn't have the best audio in the world. That's a relatively uh, new thing that I've figured out. Wow, audio in a, a video really matters. And I still don't have it completely figured out, but if you guys uh, want to get your fix of Dayton, you can go back and watch those old videos. I would definitely appreciate it. Uh, to see comments on, on really old stuff. It really warms my heart. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, friends. We will be back soon, I promise. We are not dead. We are not even close to done here. Um, but thank you guys so much for joining me once again. This has been a Dayton Dispatch, kinda. <laughs> I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one, friends. Check out the links in the description. Twitter, Discord, Patreon. If you want to hit me up, holla, know when the streams are happening. Anyways, until the next time, friends. Bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.